Hey y'all, it's me, Career Homeschool Knockouts. Today we are doing a curriculum flip through on science, science curriculum flip through. This is from the Critical Thinking Company, the publishers. Um, the book is titled The Science Detective and it is higher order thinking, reading, and writing, okay? And it's the beginner um, level, okay? And it's, again, from the Critical Thinking Company. I hope that doesn't look backward to you right there. And these are all the components that your child will be exposed to in this book, okay? Now, um, sorry if the camera's shaky. I'm holding the phone. It's like really, it's like one o'clock in the morning. Um, this is a flip through, which means we're going from the front cover all the way to the back cover or coast to coast. So you can get the most, as I like to say. And um, because it's a flip through, I do not do a curriculum review. Those are something entirely different and separate and they're much longer videos. This is, this is a short video. So we just talk about everything. And then if you're curious, then eventually I will have a curriculum review on this one. I haven't done it yet as of March 28th, 2024, but it will be up there eventually, but check it out. This is a great company. I love a lot of their, of their materials. Uh, which you can see uh, just a little sampling of some of them of the just a little, a little I'm not going to edit that out I'm too tired a little sampling of some of their materials and there's so so many um, books um, on their website so uh, let's pop the hood and get straight into it bye bye well not bye bye I'll see you on the other side without my face Okay, guys, we have here another flip through. I'm going to be totally faceless on this one because your girl's not feeling too hot. I have sinuses from being out in the garden with all the wind blowing. We have some strong winds out here in Southern California. We have here um, our curriculum flip through is um, something different. It is from the Critical Thinking Company. And it is called Science Detective. Now, um, there are a number of books in this series for um, reading and for math and some for other things, I believe. But I happen to have the science book right here in my hot little hands. It is for grades three and four. And it is the beginning um, of this series, okay? And this is, you know, the information. These are some of the things that you're going to be doing in this book pertaining to all of these sciences and you'll be doing analysis synthesis reading and writing all right let me get in focus i'm not going to really be talking too much i just finished my mequon review and i'm i really need to um sit down somewhere and, and rest my voice all right so yes yeah, so you have the science series the math series the reading series World history and U.S. history. All right. I love the Critical Thinking Company. I have so much material from them. Okay. So um, let's get to flipping. Now, I'm not going to do a, re a review. Okay. Now, those of you who have been following my flip throughs, you know, I just sprinkle a little bit of commentary. Um, Although with Mequon, I was telling all kinds of stories. But I don't go into a review per se. Okay? And that's because this is for you just to get the information. And then if you're interested, then you can get more information through a curriculum review. And then eventually I'll just do a, a how I use it um, part for the curriculum. So it'll be like a three-part series. So I would take a curriculum, say... Math Mammoth. I would do a flip through on Math Mammoth so you see every single page so you can gauge whether that book might work for you. And then I would have a curriculum review. So if you like the flip through, what you saw, then you're going to check out the review. And then if you like that, then you're like, okay, we're going to use this. And then I would have another video on Math Mammoth, how I use it, which I started, which I started using, doing with writing and rhetoric. Um, so... Those will be in the making, okay? But um, the Critical Thinking Company bills itself as 
um, publishers for gifted materials for children, gifted and talented children. Um, a lot of these materials are used in gate programs, tag programs, and the like. But as a homeschooler, or even an after-schooler, you can get your hands on this. Anybody can buy these materials. You can purchase this. Just use it with your child, right? So, yeah, they can use those designations. But you know what? All children are gifted in their own way. They just don't have the time, the means, the patience, or the people around them to help bring that out. Okay. And when they say gifted... Okay, let me just ramble for a minute, y'all, if you would indulge me. If you go to the turn of... Well, I can't say the turn of the century. <laughs> if you go to the turn of the last century, or the... Uh, the 1900s, I mean, the yeah, if you go to the 1900s, the late 1800s, and you see how these people wrote, like the letters, the level of sophistication with their writing was staggering. It was staggering. And that was, and that was like an everyday person. So an everyday regular degular person back from the 1800s, the Victorian period, the Elizabethan period, I'm going for the back. Um, if you just took a regular old Joe, their writing and reading would be far superior to the smartest person nowadays. Seriously, read some of the letters from uh just read some of the books like from that time period you know anything um by the bronte sisters uh mark twain um well he's not really but you know what i'm talking about but or classics where they try to mimic you know how people spoke or they they um bring in um like writing like letters or diaries and you see how they wrote such a level of sophistication and that was a lot of people. And so with the, ed the education with the Rockefeller, you know, getting hold of U.S. education and dumbing us down, you know, we sound like a box of rocks, right? Handwriting, forget cursive, forget calligraphy, you know, writing with flair, writing with beauty and elegance. All of that is gone. And so when a program builds, B-I-L-L-S, builds itself as gifted and talented, it was like this would be regular work back in the day. That's basically what I'm trying to say. So don't get <clears throat> put off by those designations. Okay? You never know what your child is capable of until you put them to the, ta to the task. See what they can do. All right, we're almost done with this. And this is just for the science. All this critical thinking stuff is, it's just having your child be a critical thinker. It's teaching them how to think critically. Okay? It involves a little bit more time on the child's part and on your part. But that's what you have to do. We're, we're in the answers section, y'all. Okay? So this will be a short video. But I absolutely love this program. You can get in get out. I use it as a supplement. Like, I would not use this just for science at all. I would use it to extend our science learning. Okay. And with the critical thinking company, they want you to get in touch with them, y'all. They give you the phone number and their website. They're not kidding. Now, here on the back, and I like this, they are great at um, marketing. So you have, um, let me get this in focus. So they break it up by the categories, you know, your language arts, math, science, logical thinking. I never did their, log no, I do have one logical thinking book.
um, yeah, I have balance benders. <clears throat> uh, oh, I have mind benders. Yeah, I just have, I have those two. I can do um, a flip through on those. I have Indiana Jones or Inference Jones because inferences are really hard for kids. I have all the math detectives. I have a couple of math analogies. I don't have that one, mathematical reasoning. Um, oh, I have editor-in-chief. So, so just look at that, okay? And I think the books are priced reasonably. Or you can get their um, online materials to use with other kids in your family, okay? Just want to try to see what that looks like, okay? So I love this. This is a great book to have. So tell me, what do you guys think about this program? Do you like it? Is it a yay or a nay? All the different varieties. Well, that's kind of redundant, right? I love all the variety of books. I love the variety of books that um, they offer acro across the curriculum, whether it's English, writing, math, science, or history. So I haven't, I've never used their history. I, I get real antsy about his history from other from publishers, but um, if you've used it, I'll be curious to see what um, you thought about it. Okay, so I'm gonna go get some uh, sleep catch some Z's. Um, if you would please, if you want more of these um, flip throughs, uh, leave a comment down below or click the playlist um, above my head so you can get lost in curriculum reviews and the flip throughs. And uh, let me know that, you know, you appreciate this. You can put a like, you can share this video um, or you can comment. So um, that's it. This is Nikki with Homeschool Knockouts. I love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I got to use one hand because the other hand's holding this camera really shaky. And my, my deltoids, are, deltoids are starting to burn. All right, bye, guys.